good. So we're going to pick up where we left off and we're going to uh, finish um, or add a little bit more to our building here. So our, our next step is to start adding in some of our um, items that we need in the, to build a house. So one of the things I like to do or do on often is really just to turn the floors off uh, because if whenever you put things in, they just kind of get in the way. And from the 2D view and looking for that from the top, you don't necessarily need to have the floors uh, showing. So uh, there's two different ways of turning them off. You can turn it, you can type in VG, or you can go to View and click on Visibility Graphics. And you're just going to scroll down and uncheck floors. I'm going to hit apply. Now, just because you did it there doesn't mean it did it anywhere else. If you go back to a 3D view, as you see, the floors are still there. So it didn't do anything to the other views, only for, only for the one that you were actually in. Okay, so um, let's start out with our bathroom, and then we're going to progress from there. So we got our wall, walls, we got our doors, we got our windows, uh, we got the floors, and so now we're going to start putting in components to actually make the house. Uh, so next we're going to insert our bathtub, and the bathtub is a plumbing fixture. So we're going to go to Architecture tab, Component, Load Family, Plumbing. Architectural fixtures and well, you know, what? yeah, we'll do water closets next. So we'll do tub first. Bathtubs, tub rectangular 3D. Not that standalone one though. That one. Now the tub is a unique item. It has to be attached to a wall. And it has to be hosted. So we're going to take the tub and we're going to just kind of put it in. And we're going to slide it this way till it touches these two walls. We're going to hit escape. And we're going to nudge this wall up here. So you can use the arrow keys on the keyboard. Honestly, it's much easier to do it that way. All right, so next we're going to do our toilet. And we'll back out of this one step. And we'll do water closets. Because remember, that's where the toilet is. And we'll do domestic 2D, 3D, I'm sorry. So there's about three or four different ones in there. Don't use that thing. That looks like the ones in the school bathroom. All right, so we'll use that one. Domestic 3D. Hit OK. And we're going to go ahead and put our toilet in. We're going to put it in on this side. Mm -hmm. That's a toss up. I don't want to do this. So I guess I'll put it here. All right. House only has one bathroom, so we don't have to worry about trying to put in more than that. And next, we're going to go ahead and put in our sink. All right, same steps, architecture, component, low family. Uh, we're going to back out of this. And we're going to back out to here a couple more steps. So this time, we're going to go to MEP, fixtures, lavatories. And laboratory vanity so we're going to use that one and we're going to hit the space bar the double lines is the backsplash this will go up here and the corner so I'm going to suggest just putting it right there and then use the arrow keys to nudge it up And then you don't make the mistake of 
putting the black backsplash into the wall. All right, so that's our bathroom, and not too bad. Let's look, go to a 3D view and spin it around so we can kind of look up on the inside. All right, so here's one thing we're going to do that um, and that we're going to put tile in the bathroom. Now, you're not necessarily going to see it, but we're going to put it in, in the bathroom. So what I want you to do is take, we're going to do floor. And we're going to take, actually, let's take this one. Edit type. Duplicate. And we'll call it tile floor. All right, so it's going to change. The thickness of it is going to change. So we're only going to do like a half inch thickness. And we're going to change the material. Right, so let's see. Got some tile up in here. Hmm, that don't look too bad. Vinyl composite. Uh, that one I'm not sure about. And then you have these little ones with got all these little squares. I never really liked those anyway. Um, I don't really care too much for those. So um, I guess I'll be a little fancy and do something like this with that one. All right, let me hit OK. Oh, you know what? I forgot to hit one thing on appearance tab. Photographics. Forgot to hit use render appearance. All right, so we'll, now we'll hit OK. And we'll hit OK again. And hit OK again. But before we start putting it in, we're going to change the height offset to that same half inch we make the thickness of the tile we're going to do the same thing here then we just simply go into outline my bathroom now it's your choice whether or not you want to go to the all the way to this corner or not in most cases when you tile in a bathroom you're not going to put those tiles all the way Underneath the uh, tub, because it'd be a waste of material because you're not going to see it. All right, and make sure you don't have any open corners anywhere. And because remember, anytime you use these purple lines for anything that you're actually drawing or making, uh, it's going to, if you have an open loop somewhere, it's not going to let you check the green check mark without giving you an error. All right, so our floor disappeared because the floors are turned off. But well, we're going to take a look at it in 3D. Oh, yeah, it's not bad. So we just click on to the side so we won't see the floor underneath it. All right, so that actually don't look too bad. So we're going to go ahead and go back to level one. And let's go into the kitchen. All right, so next, architecture component. I'm watching my time here too also. Low family. Alright, so I'm trying to keep these videos down to about 10-15 minutes at a time. So you'll be able to follow through. Alright, let's see. So we're gonna go back out. And we're gonna go down to specialty equipment. Domestic. Mid-range. I'll go refrigerator. There's about two or three in here. You got the one that has to has to pull out drawer on the bottom for the freezer, and you have the regular type side by side. So I'm just going to do simple and side by side. And then I'm going to hit the space bar to flip it. All right. So now when you put your refrigerator in, it is not touching the walls. 
and the refrigerator needs room to breathe. That's one of the trickiest things about it is that it actually needs room to breathe. Uh, so it, you, it's always have a gap around it. So the motor has room to push and pull air and to keep the motor cool or keep the refrigerator cool. All right, so now, all right, so we put our refrigerator in and Let's go ahead and, in fact, i tell you what, I'm going to tag the rooms first. Then we'll, on the next video, we're going to come back and do the kitchen. And the reason for that, because the kitchen is its own entity by itself in order to put together. So um, we're going to tag the rooms first, and then we'll come back to that. All right, so we're going to go to architecture, room. And we're going to hit the drop down and we're going to choose room tag with area, which is going to show us our square feet. Now, sometimes your room tags are huge. And the reason for that is because they respond to the scale. So it's likely we're going to be using a one fourth scale with this particular house, with this floor plan. We're just going to change that to one fourth and then we're going to start popping in our room tags. So I like to hit the major rooms first. And all right, so now I'm glad it kind of did that. The reason it did it is because these two spaces aren't closed off from each other. So it gave me a redundant room. All right, so I'm just going to hit OK and keep going. And then I'm going to come back over and then show you how to change that. All right, so I'm going to do my bathrooms. And I'm going to do two closets. HVAC, and I'm gonna wait to do this one because it's just kind of mix up with the other one. But I'll tell you what, I'm gonna put it in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. All right, so I'm gonna hit escape. Then I'm gonna come right here, and I'm gonna do room separator. And what I'm gonna do is put a room separation line across right here. And once I did that, as you notice, 150 square feet popped up for that room. Before it, it just said redundant room. All right, so after you do this, you're gonna go ahead and change the room name. So you're changing the actual word that says room. Don't change the number and don't change the square footage. So where it says room, click on it once, then click on it one more time, and it'll highlight and then just replace the text. Math. You're gonna abbreviate closet. Now, sometimes a closet will not, well, is a it's really a tight space. In this case, this one is actually a pantry. All right, so it's a tight space. So what you can do is actually use what's called a leader. In order to do. It'll allow you to drag this to the outside of the room and have like a leader line pointing to the inside. And then that way you're not got so got this all crowded up in there where you can fit with a tight fit. All right, and then we got our HVC. Laundry. Okay, close it. All right, so now what's left is the porch. The porch is a tricky little item because it has basically a floor, but no outline. So what we're gonna do is actually give it one. So we're gonna go out architecture. Uh, we're gonna use the room separator. And we're just gonna come down and then we're gonna make the outline of the porch. So you may have to click on the corner to get those little dotted lines there. And I missed. 
I thought that is still missed. So we're gonna readjust it. So I'm gonna click right there. Maybe it nudge it up. There's an arrow keys. Alright, so now when we put a room tag inside of this space, it'll actually let us put one there. Otherwise it would have it's like a crazy error and then say that was undefined or something like that. All right. So I think that's all of our oh, master bedroom. Since there's only one bedroom, we just call it bedroom. There's no master. All right. So we got a kitchen, we got our pantry, we got our bathroom, we got our HVAC closet, hold oh, the living room. All of them. All right, so we're right at 16 minutes. So it kind of worked out. All right, so uh, next, oh, I'm going to make some adjustments to this. I don't really care for those two ones being that close. In fact, I'll tell you what, let's delete one of them. We don't need two windows there. I just put that one in the center. So you can do the same. Oh, but uh, we got one minute. So, but never mind. All right. So, um, we'll just leave that as is. All right. And then, in the 3D view. Mm -hmm. And, use your snipping tool. Take a snapshot. So it'll be task number three for this one. Okay. You can save it as task three. And you'll upload it on there. Alright, so that is that. So it's 17 minutes. So it's enough.